Edith Knight grew up in the heart of the Cherokee Nation, learning how to cook traditional Cherokee foods. Today, she shares some of that knowledge and her recipe for kanuchi, trying to keep some of the tastiest Cherokee traditions alive. My name is Edith Knight. I'm a Cherokee National Treasure. My craft was uh, traditional clothing, but I'm also involved in food, traditional foods. I have one, I had two, three brothers and two sisters, and uh, my dad was a full blood, but my mama was Scotch-Irish. I went to school at Chalk Bluff, and uh, of course, had to walk to school. Rain, sleet, or snow, whatever. Some of, the, some of the kids that went to school talked Cherokee, but the teachers didn't like for them to do that. They got in trouble if they talked Cherokee to each other while we're in grade school. So I, I did not learn to speak it. I knew who my husband was quite a while before we ever got together. When I was in high school, there was always uh, some young men that would drive their cars around the block of the high school. So we'd be sitting out on the lawn waiting to go back after, back into class. So we'd get to watching them drive their cars around the block. So I spied him and I liked his car. So when we got together, he was, like I said, he was just bashful. But we got along, and our backgrounds were similar. So it made it all right. And I tell everybody, I chased him till he caught me. <laughs> I guess we'll just hold each other up the rest of the years we've got together. <laughs> My mama always made my clothes. She would take the clothing that we outgrew and she'd make it into a quilt top. But that made me like to sew again. I guess that's where I got the liking to sew was to watch her. I didn't start traditional clothing until the, my grandchildren come along, the tear dresses. And I made a few shawls. They wanted to be in the Little Mr. and Miss Cherokee contest, so I just learned how to make their clothes. As my mother would be cooking, well, I would have my little nose up there to see what she was doing. My mother taught me how to make kanechi and just about everything that I, that I know how to do. Kanechi is hickernuts and rice cooked together. When uh, the hickernuts are ready to harvest, they will fall, and it's usually long about October, last of October, when they start falling, and a lot of them will fall with this uh, hull, outer hull. But when they hit the ground, they'll burst open and you can just pick them up. And from here, we crack them into a smaller piece, and then they're ready to grind in the uh, canone. This is called a canone. This block is called canone. After the hickory nuts have been pounded, make it, make it into a ball, you take that ball and then you break it up and drop it down into water boiling. Cook it at least 10 minutes to get rid of all the bacteria. And then uh, after that's cooked, then I run it through a sieve to get rid of the larger hulls, and then I cook that again, cook that until it's, uh, the juice will start to thicken a little bit, and then I run it through a strainer to get the rest of the hulls out. And then I take that, I call it slurry, it is, it's, it's just so liquid, and I add that to cooked rice and add sugar to it. That's 
top of my world. I like, I like to see people eat. I like for them to enjoy what they're eating. If they like it half as good as I like making it and sharing it with them, I'm happy. I guess what I would like for people to remember me is that I'd like to be thought of as a giving person, a loving person, and I guess that's, that's about all I could ever want. Just remember that. Learn as much as you can about your history because it's important to know who you are, where you come from, and I think it makes you a stronger person whenever you find out what all the Cherokees has had to go through. I think that's what, that's what our, us Cherokees are. We're strong. We're really stronger than what we think we are. And I like that.